Using pivot tables is a great way to aggregate your data and those tables have a lot of good functionalities for playing with dates, but there are also some drawbacks. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you those drawbacks and I'm going to show you how to circumvent these problems by using the data model and power queries. And it's going to be very simple, but very effective. So let's start. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this data set into a Excel table. So I click inside, I do insert table, and then it will pick up my data. My table has headers. Okay. And I'm going to call this data table. Enter. The next thing I'm going to do is just to insert a pivot table. So I selected my table. I do pivot table from table range. Here we have new worksheet. We say, okay, what you can do is when you have a date, you can just put your date into rows. And if you have Excel 2016 and after, you will see that it will automatically show you some options. So here I have the year, then the quarter, then the months. And if I don't want them, for example, I don't want the quarter, I can just come here and remove it and then it will adjust there. The other thing that you can do is if you just remove everything and then put back the date, you can click here, right click, and then you have ungroup. So when you ungroup, you can see that you have all your dates. The problem with this is that if I want to show sales where I have nothing, so for example, let's add the sales amount here. So on the 1st of Jan, nobody sold anything. Here, I cannot show this. I have to show only the days where I have some data or I have to go back to my table and start doing some shenanigans, which is not recommended. The other thing you could do with normal pivot table is going here and then selecting group. And then within group, you can select what you want. So for example, if I only want years and then months i can select this click and i will get this the problem that i face here is basically if i come here and i want to do jan 2021 if you see down it has also changed this one to jan 2021 which is not what i want because this is 2022 so those are some of the issues that you might face in pivot tables and i'm going to show you how to use the data model now I'm going to insert a pivot table the same way. The only difference is that I'm going to tick this, add this data to the data model. We say, okay, we get something that looks similar. If I put the date here, again, Excel will put my years. It will put my quarters and my months. So this is not the right way to do things. So we're just going to remove all this. And what we're going to do is play with the data model. So we go to data and then we click on this icon here. If you see, I get my data, right? So what I'm going to do is add a calendar to add a calendar. You can just go to design and here you have date table and you say new. When you do this, it will take your smallest date and your biggest date and it will add a row for every day. So if you see here, I have the year, the months, number, the months, then I have Jan 2021 in this format, the weekday and other columns. And those columns will be very important if we want to do a different grouping. For example, if you want to see your data by fiscal year, if you use the normal pivot options, you cannot do this. But here you can add a column where you can have, for example, the dates that correspond to a certain fiscal year flagged and the other date flag for the next year. And then you can project it in your pivot table. We're going to do some exercises in this tutorial. So just be patient with me. I'm just going to show you one thing we need to do first. We go to home diagram view. Here I see my two tables. I have my data table and my calendar table. What I need to do is to link them. So here I have my date in calendar and I have my date in data table. So I'm just going to click here, left click. Then you just drag till you reach this. You just link this. If you see here, I linked my two dates. Okay. So this is very important. After that, I don't need this date anymore from my data table. I only want my calendar. So I'm going to right click here 
and do hide from client tool so nobody can play with it I'm gonna hide this I'm gonna hide also this one so now when I close my data model and I come here I go to all I have two tables calendar which has those fields that you saw earlier and my data table which do not contain anymore the date because we removed it and now it's going to become easier because I can for example take my dates put them in rows and then I can take my sales amount and put them here so if you see here I still don't have the 1st of January because it has no data but I can now right click and go to pivot table options and here if I go to display I have show item with no data on row I do this okay and I can see them the other thing I could do is if I remove this and now I put this one you can see that I have my months and then dash year the only problem I have is that they are not in the right way so if I put for example the year before you can see that they start from April then August because they are sorted alphabetically so to fix this problem we can click back go back to our data model and here if you see this is the column that I'm using to sort it the right way I have to use a helper column so here for example I could do equal then I select the year I do times 100 and then I add the month's number if I say enter you can see that I transform this into this now having this column which we're gonna call helper column what you could do is basically sort this column by this column so if I click on this column I have here sort by column I click on it I can select my column and then I click OK and if I close this you can see that now my data is sorted the right way the drawback with having this calendar is that I don't have a quarter if you see here there is no quarter like we had in the pivot table so I can go back to my data model and create a quarter column I can do the same thing for any grouping I want as I said fiscal year is one of them so here for quarter we're gonna do a shortcut or a hack if you want we're going to use the int formula integer which is converting any decimal number to an integer so here I'm going to do double parenthesis I'm going to do the month's number plus two close parenthesis divided by three and this and this is one hack formula try it for every month and you'll see what it will give I'm just going to do enter then I'll call this quarter we close this and then let's add our quarter new column we can add it here after the year and you can see that now the quarters are appearing correctly so this is the basic of using a data model to play with dates and group the dates the way you want and circumvent some of the problems that you face in the normal pivot options please let me know in the comment section whether you agree with me that this methodology is better and what are the situations that you face and what are your challenges and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel